Oh, there's a story. You want the whole story? <laughs> Battle of Britain was at its height when I started teaching. Social life was absolutely non-existent. Any boys that I had known were all away in the forces. There was a dance the first Saturday night. The RAF were there, so you couldn't hold us back. Down we went and the music stopped and you danced with the boy that stopped in front of you. That's how I met my husband. And it registered at once that he was a Scot. I understood him up to a point. It didn't matter, he was a wonderful dancer. He became difficult to look after because he would fall. I was told by the doctor to send for the police and they would help me get him out and get him to bed or whatever. But of course, in my heart of hearts, I knew that one day I might possibly have to get him cared for. My husband was looked after in such a good way for eight and a half years. And during that eight and a half years, of course, was my first experience of living alone. So they don't just look after the residents, they look after the families too, still looking after me.